Now see this question. This question is from reasoning. So let P, Q, R, S and T be five statement such that if P is true, if P is true, it means both Q and S are true. Right. So we can write it like this. If P is true, then Q and S both are true. Okay. Second, if R and S are true, so if R is true and S is also true, both are true, then what will happen? Then T is false. Now the first statement, T is true, now T is becoming true. So it means either these two, both are false or one of them is false, right? So either this is false or this is false, okay? So this, if T is true, then at least one of P and R is must be false. So, R can be false. Okay. Now, about P, we have S. But through S, can we tell something about P? So, if from this statement, right. So, S is false. So, S will be false if P is false. Right. So, either R will be false or S will be false. Or S ki jagayam kya bol sakte hai? P. Okay. So, this statement, first statement is correct. Because, this T will become true if either they both are false or one of them is false. Right. Now, second statement. So, first statement is correct. Now, second statement. Second statement is Q is true. So, Q is true, then P is true. If Q is true, then P is true. So, we know that if P is true, Q and S both are true from this. Right. But we cannot reverse it. Right. If Q is true, then P is true. Right. But we can say that if P is false, right, but the reverse is not true, okay, because of P, Q is happening, Thus, but it does not mean that because of Q, P will happen, okay. So, this statement is wrong. So, the answer will be only option A, okay.